So guys, <clears throat> I finished synchronizing all the data on my Google account. As you can see here, everything is finished. I just installed the new SIM, uh, the new ROM, the stock ROM that was recommended by uh, Sergey or Sergey, um, and uh, the SVA version. Let's double check here about the device. You're gonna see that's Android 4.3. The model number of my phone is the N9002. The baseband or the the build is the new uh, N or uh, DND1. Today is April the 11th, um, and I just installed the SVA ROM uh, version 5.5, which just came out yesterday or the day before. Anyway, after downloading and following the instructions, because I was having trouble losing the account, um, right now I just uh, synchronize everything. So my emails are here, uh, my phone is here, my contacts are all here, my favorite. I have over 4,000 contacts, and I do have uh, <clears throat> the Wi-Fi working and and all that. So. This is my two SIM card phone, and the problem that I was having is every time I'll turn off the phone and change a SIM card or take out a SIM card and put a new SIM card or change the battery, which I'm gonna show here now. We're gonna do a test, but I follow the instructions, which is install the stock ROM and do a wipe with the recovery. Um, install the stock run again, do a wipe with the original stock recovery and then install <clears throat> the recovery from the clock mod no, uh, uh, clockwork mod and I did that and this is my two sim card phones two note three for those that haven't seen it yet but it's made just for China anyway I'm gonna take out my sim card and usually that's one of the things. I'm working with AT&T, I live here in Florida. And uh, I'm gonna put the battery again, and let's go for the first test. But this is one of the tests that I do to see if it would <clears throat> break it or not. I actually put another SIM card, that's another, um, I even a stronger weight. Every time I do that, I lose the Google account. And let's see if it's gonna reboot. Uh, I talked to two or three people on this email thread that I created and they haven't had a problem for the past you know, five or six or ten hours they, they've been using it but I don't know if they're doing this test that I'm doing or not no connection uh, let's see if we get uh, this is everything is brand new here. I'm gonna go and connect it to my Wi Fi now. And the first test let's go to my contacts updating contact list, which is good and bad. It could be that the phone is still starting, but then again, I am not so sure. Why is taking so long? Let's go to favorites. Here we go. This is a problem. Cannot find my contacts, and I just showed before. Let's go to Gmail. Boom! It happens again. So after all that work, it took me over you no know, well, several hours to download the files, the four files that Sergey had recommended, and now this. So I would have to install the Google account again, and that is a pain in the ass. And by the way, this keyboard here that comes, the KitKat is nothing like the Samsung. I much prefer the Samsung. So let me enter here and I'll be back. So it's still recording, it's asking me to go to the Google service again, and now it's going to start to download and synchronize everything again. And that's going to take three or five or ten minutes, depending. I have over 4,000 contacts, so all the effort for nothing. <clears throat> I love this phone, I love this the ROM, but I don't understand why, if it is the ROM problem, the original stock ROM, why would Samsung 
know, have this major, major issue of people having problems with their Gmail account. Somebody should fix this. Anyway, guys, this is just to prove that to me it did not work. But uh, I'll suggest you guys do the same thing and do a test by taking out the battery, taking out the SIM card, put it again to see if it works. All right, but it happens even without this, without taking the SIM or the, the battery um, with me um, a couple of few times. And this is just a test if I install the new version. As you can see, everything is synchronized now, but now I still have the same um, version. Uh, SVA ROM 5.5, and this is the correct DN D1. So I followed all the the procedures from the installation process. Frustrating, guys. I hope somebody can solve this problem. As I I bought the new Galaxy S5 as because I'm frustrated with this phone, and if it doesn't get to work, I may sell it because I can't stand this. Thank you. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed and please make comments down below to help us all. Um, and I'll send an email to the thread that we have started uh, yesterday um, to give an update and the link to this phone and what I found out from this problem. Thank you. Bye-bye.